But let us who are of the day Come on. be sober, mm -hmm. putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Now, wait a minute. It's not just enough to have faith. We also have to have love. And notice he said the breastplate covering the heart. There are many people I know have faith. But they have dark hearts. I'm telling, I'm telling you the truth. There are many people that will not sit up in a congregation because they believe God, but they think they can stay at home and serve God. I don't want to be out there with the hypocrite. But they're the first person on the job with the hypocrite. They're the first person out to Walmart, walking up and down the aisle, bumping into the cart with the hypocrite. But can't sit on a pew or across the aisle from somebody that they have judged to be a hypocrite. Bible told me, just don't judge, so you won't be judged. While you point your finger and say, that's a hypocrite, the Bible said the same measure that you measure is to be measured under you. They may think you're a hypocrite. <laughs> I call you a pot, they call me a kettle. <laughs> black and black. So he's not the law on the breastplate. That's the top of the heart. You're going to have to have faith, because without faith, it's impossible to please God. But you have to have love with the faith. Just can't go around believing God. Who? He said, how can you hate your brother you see every day? Then say like you love God. I believe in God, I love God, but I hate my brother. The Bible says you're alive. And the truth is not in you. So he said, a breastplate of faith and love. Read it. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. And on your head, God in your mind. You need to make up your mind, am I going to live for God or not? The heaven of salvation. Am I going to, do I want to be delivered? You need to put on the heaven of salvation. See, salvation deals with your head. Because if you haven't decided, the Bible said be transformed with the renewing of your mind. If your mind is not made up, you can't have a wavering. The Bible said that you can't be wavering. So you can't please God. The heaven of hope and of what? Salvation. The hope of salvation. The night verse says, For God has not appointed us to rest. First of all, God has not given us an appointment to be destroyed with the sun. We do not have an appointment unto wrath. Read it. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. But we're going to be delivered and saved by Jesus Christ. Watch what he says now in the 10th verse. Who died for us, mm -hmm. that whether we wake or sleep. Now, whether you're alive or whether you die, you're in the grave. That's sleep, read. Really. We should live together with him. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together. Come on. And edify one another, mm -hmm. even as also ye do. So, how can you stay at home and edify somebody? One another. How can you stay at home and comfort somebody? And if you at the house. How can you not come to the church functions and mingle with the saints? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm talking to the wrong crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Some folks want it quiet in their life. And not, not nobody, nobody wants drama in their life. That's peace. But how are you getting your peace? Are you getting your peace by staying at home? And not coming out and lending your talents. Like the kids are in the back needing mentors. But I'm staying in the house because I just don't like drum. I like peace and quiet. Well, stay in the house with your peace and quiet. There's some dangers in being peace and quiet, too. But one day God going to ask you to give an account. Why didn't you use your talents and your resources? Oh, I'm not going to support that. I just don't believe in that. I just, it's too much confusion in that. You got your peace. Who that man with ghost? But he said, comfort yourself together. Edify one another, even as also you do. So let's watch what Jesus said. The words of Jesus, Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree mm -hmm. when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. You know that summer is not. Now, what he's talking about there is harvest. In the Middle East, when summertime came, that was the end of summer, that was the harvest. So he says, when the tree branches are tender and put it forth leaves. Now, always remember this about a tree that has fruit. The fruit comes first, 
did release. I want y'all to watch this this coming fall, this coming spring, uh, on the on the fruit trees. Before the leaves come out, there's a flower that comes in. It, it blooms and right real great. You get a bloom and then the petals fall off the bloom. That's where the fruit sits. Then once that fruit set, then the leaves come out. And blow it up. That's why when Jesus walked up to the fig tree and saw leaves, he knew it was some fruit because the fruit come after the leaves had the Holy Ghost. And so he says, when you see that branch is tender and put it forth the leaves, he that know it's son, know it's harvest time. So what Jesus is saying here, the Bible teaches us that the fig tree is Israel, is God's people. And when Israel was tender and young and became a nation again after 2,500 years, see, you have to remember, from the time of, of 1948 back to when the Babylonians and Nebuchadnezzar came down and conquered Israel, it hadn't been a nation. 2,500 years. They lost not only the nation, they lost their language. But in 1948, those branches sent out their little tender sheets, a brand new little old nation. And he said, when they put it forth its leaves, that man began to be productive. They've had so many wars because the Arabs, the Egyptians, the, the Saudis, different ones have attacked them. And every time God gave them the victory. But he said,